This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. Well, it would explain, I think, uh, the Conservative government's commitment to this plane. It's on a wing and a prayer that uh, they're moving forward uh, on the F-35. Uh, there's, there's no reasonable grounds, there's no uh, evidence available to suggest that this is uh, the right plane, which is why we're proposing that they put it out to tender to determine what the right plane is. Now, he's been questioned for discrediting the study by saying it's a study by a, a defeated and yeah. candidate. Well, you know, this is a government that has uh, seems to have no respect for uh, academic studies, for science. Uh, you know, their failed candidates uh, go into the Senate, at least ours go back to academia and produce uh, credible peer-reviewed academic research in uh, very credible academic journals. Do you have any indication that this government might be changing, if not direction, at least tone on this? Because there was some statements about their reviewing of their needs of the plane, they reviewing how many... Yeah, I don't think it means anything. They say they're monitor monitoring the situation. There certainly have been changes in message. Uh, they went from a firm 65 uh, planes and said uh, at one point in time, no, they'll buy what they can uh, within their budget, the nine billion dollars. Um, but they haven't. They don't seem to have uh, stayed consistent with that message either. So we've gone from 80 planes as requested by uh, the Air Force down to 65 planes to whatever they can buy for $9 billion. Um, but they're well entrenched. Uh, as we noted from uh, Minister Fantino, it's, uh, it's clearly a matter of kind of religious faith for them at this point in time. And uh, that's what they're saying. 